Hello, Conceal Coalition. Another one of our questions from our Conceal Coalition family, and that is, I work in a heavily physical outdoor job. I think this person from the, the question is a construction worker. And where do I carry? On body, off body? Let's talk about that for a second. I'm gonna make it real simple for you, my friend. There's only two rules to gunfighting. Rule number one, bring the gun. See, if you don't bring a gun, you're not in a gunfight, you're in a shooting, and that's a very different life experience. Rule number two, if carrying that gun does not fit your lifestyle, it's awkward or it's painful, you will not bring the gun for rule number one. So you have to find a way to put that into your clothing in a way that allow you to fit, function, and still retain that in secure enough manner where you can still get to it in time. And that's gonna take time and practice. Jody, what are your thoughts about carrying a firearm when you're in a rugged outdoor kind of lifestyle? I think uh, I'm not a fan of off-body carry, Austin. Because be the first rule of a gunfight is? You gotta have the gun. And right? it doesn't help if you gotta say, Mr. Bad Guy, would yeah. you hold on a second? I got something in a pickup truck, I'll be right back. That's <laughs> yeah. probably gonna be the longest foot race of your life. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think there's, uh, you know, we get the question a lot too, as far as holsters go and, wear on your body to carry because in all of our classes we're telling people you know on your person's the safest place for the firearm there's no no arguments about that so then holsters come into play and where do you carry and you know a lot of that depends on body type you know like i got a dad bot austin I and like you rock it. it well i rock it you know mm -hmm. and so for me sometimes finding a holster might be a little more difficult than someone of your fit stature but you know the good thing about holsters is you can buy them you can take them home, you can try them, and you can take them back. Ooh, Unlike like a firearm, right? I like that idea. So, One of the things that I recommend is when you're having problems comfortably carrying inside the waistband, whether it's appendix or outside the waistband, inside the waistband strong side or wherever, is you're gonna need a different belt for different applications. When I'm carrying inside the waistband for appendix, my belt needs to be a lot more flexible than if it is on strong side outside. And it has to be somewhere in the middle between strong side outside um, at three o'clock and appendix if it's inside strong side. So a lot of times it's not really the holster, it's the belt. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you said that. I've never really thought about that a lot. I've done it subconsciously, but I've never really thought about it in that way. And if I'm if I'm carrying appendix and I have uh, like a dress belt on, it's not very comfortable because that belt is so um, stiff, right? There's no flexibility in it. Um, so yeah, I think that again, the good thing is that you can try them, you can take them back, but being comfortable and having the firearm on your person is very important. The other tough thing is, if you think about it, it's not a problem as big a problem if you're in an outdoor construction kind of lifestyle as if you're in an office setting. Because you're in an office setting, again, it's a thinner belt, more, more streamlined look, whereas you're gonna have a lot more heavy duty pants, you can get away with a lot more heavy duty belt, probably better, a better chance if you're in an outdoor construction kind of lifestyle, leaving your shirt untucked, which makes things well. One thing we do wanna talk about with the carry though, is remember, we try to clean our gun for two reasons. One, to make sure that it's clean enough to function reliably and make sure it's oiled enough because they'll run dirty, but they won't run dry generally speaking, but also against corrosion. So you have to look really hard to make sure that we have a good finish on it that prohibits it and check it more often than somebody who doesn't have that sort of outdoorsy, I'm sweating all over my firearm and especially around the metal sights. With that, anything else you want to add about a lifestyle? I think one of the things thinking about uh, working in the construction field, I just imagined this person probably moving around a lot, bending, uh, being in some awkward situations. So finding a holster that secures the firearm well so they can't be jarred out or knocked out, It'd be very important. What I find is when I'm carrying inside the waistband with a quality appendix holster, that for me is the easiest when I'm walking around and trying to get through small areas and working underneath the car or around the house because there's less snag because it's yeah. in the front part of my body, which has got my nose and everything else is real sensitive when I'm crawling under things. And so I find it easier to keep other people from seeing it when I'm working in the real world. <laughs> yeah. You like that nose yes. and other sensitive parts in the front part of my I body. I like that, yes. I thought you would. With that, <laughs> one thought we have before we leave, be a guardian always and a warrior when needed.